Oh, damn! That, that was the end of it. Okay, well, now we're gonna meet... Now we're gonna meet... Dad's a great businessman, but he likes What I think is the true mastermind behind it all. Or... Someone completely ignorant, which I, I don't think so at all. Just coming. He's through here. Mm hmm. Hello. Oh, yeah. You're the major villain. Detective Inspector Jenks. I'm investigating Jenksy. Death in the village. I believe you knew Kate Vine. Oh, I thought all this was done for you, Inspector. You do know that Kate Vine was a gherkin short of a big man. You do know. Father. You must forgive my son, Inspector. He still can't summon up the courage to come straight to the point. So what do you want to know? Well, a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I do mind. I'm a very busy man. Try asking an intelligent question. Like, do I mind being quizzed about a once promising student who turned into a useless drunk? Ryan, would you mind leaving us for a while? Okay. One or two things from there. If you need me, Dad. You may begin, Mr. Holmes. Although I'm not going to be able to help you, I don't have much to do with the course nowadays, so I can't give you any hard information. That's as maybe, but we. No, that's as is. Oh. But if you want my opinion, I'd be quite happy to give it to you. So far away. Okay. Thank you. Well. Wow, Paul certainly doesn't take any prisoners. It's obvious who's pulling the strings in this family, and I wonder what they got up to in their previous guise as Third Eye. Eight o'clock already. Yeah, um... This is gonna be an interesting conversation. How well did you know, Kate? Hardly knew her at all. Uh, met her a few times. But the cause this well. So when was the okay. last time you saw her? Last uh, Friday. Okay. I just popped out of the course and uh, about seven. Did you speak to her then? It was possible. And how did she see you? Was she happy? <laughs> this guy reeks she of drunk. evil. Okay. Um, he's going to you know berate me with every stupid this? question I ask. It's a driving license. How would I know that? You didn't see it lying around anywhere. No. Okay, that was uh, pretty direct. Did you know anything about Simon Thompson's bike? No. Uh, <laughs> um. Ever tried Simon's homebrew? Simon Thompson? No, I haven't. I wouldn't touch anything that has had Simon's fingers in it. Ooh. Apparently, Simon isn't well loved. Have you seen this before? Looks familiar. Where did you find it? It was uh, in the woods. Presumably, it had something to do with Kate or a killer. Jenkins, well, don't ask. That's what I'm trying to establish. Okay, good. Should it be in an evidence bag, Inspector, in case of contamination? I didn't have one with me, unfortunately. Well, don't go testing it for DNA, will you? It's got yours all over it. This guy freaks me the fuck out. Damn. Okay, well, uh, let's talk. What do you Keep know talking. About this? It's a freedom necklace. It's a symbol we use in, sometimes in the courts. Little bird in cage flying away. Freeing themselves from their past is the analogy. So do they get them when they join the course or something? No, 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 not as a rule. I think I bought one once as a present. Oh, not uh, for Kate, by any chance? <laughs> no, not for Kate. I can't really remember who it was for, a birthday present maybe for one of the students. Okay. Which student? I have no idea. We'll ask about Emma here shortly, because I got a feeling those two are connected some way. Uh, yeah. Nope, broken window. Oh, here we go. 
What do you know about this? Looks like a mask. You don't recognize it? Not particularly. It looks like a monarch mask. A monarch it's a mask. Monarch mask. Yeah. Monarch is. Uh, <laughs> I love Jake's faces. Outfitters. Ryan goes there sometimes. Okay. Um, monarch costumes. Um, I wonder if he still uses the shot. Maybe we could catch him in that lie. But also, take a second where fucking Mr. Evil is like sinister and raw and dark, and Jenkins is like. What did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? I didn't go to the pub last Friday. You didn't hear anything about an argument in the pub? Should I have? No, that's fine. Okay. Have you ever seen one of these before? I believe it's a scrying mirror, pagan thing. Ever used one? Why would I use a scrying mirror? So you have to talk no to old friends who are dead now? Sort of thing. No. Does the Atlas course use them at all? Not at all. Strange question. Dude. This dude is pretty much like insinuating that he was part of the murders and insinuating and or at least like huh stranger asking me about black magic huh i wonder why you would ask me about black magic as if i know something about black magic could you tell me a bit about this had it designed by an agency hmm uh, when was that last year is that when you started the business okay. yes i suppose so mm-hmm there's another lie well, I guess not a lie, just a cut. Uh, yeah, no, 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 that was the one I wanted. Here we go. If I did this, ba -ba -ba. would it mean anything to you? I presume you've seen an Atlas student doing that. Ah, so this is an Atlas thing. Well, it wasn't exactly our idea. The students started doing it spontaneously to show commitment to the cause. Cute, really. Which student did you see doing that? <laughs> I'm not sure but he was carving it into a tree. I told him to stop. Did you really? Why? Defacing public property. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What's the punishment for that kind of thing nowadays? Prison sentence? Oh, it's usually a fine. All right. What about defiling public liberty? Does that carry a fine too? Not that I'm aware of. The student in question argued a similar point. Is that something you encourage on the Atlas course? We encourage people who put ideas first, moral anachronisms second. The problem with the law, Inspector, is that it's out of date. Well, I suppose that's a matter of opinion. However, you still respect it. Respect it? I abide by it. We all play by the book, Inspector, but that's only because of the threat of possible incarceration. All right, Soren. Um, Soren is gonna now tell me, yeah, was that, yeah, about Liam's death, huh? How well did you know Liam? Liam who? Liam who took his life. Oh. <laughs> I love how they haven't oh. even given him a last name. As far as I remember, he was a good student, confident, that guy. You didn't notice any problems? Wait, students? I believe he had problems at home. Oh, Ryan, yeah, me and you are going to have some words later. Yeah. And afterwards? You didn't see him after the meeting? No. What was Liam like that night? No. Apart from being drunk, or possibly because of that, he seemed perfectly happy. He was drunk? Well, I assume the bottle in his hand contained whiskey and not lemonade. Lots of similarities to Kate, don't you think? Drinking, depression, is that normal for the students? People come into the Atlas course for quick solutions to their problems. And when they don't get them as quickly as they might have liked, sometimes their impatience gets the better of them. Oh. Okay. Can you tell me a little about the Atlas phrase, free to be free? Where did you hear that? I was talking to one of your students. He the wants to know which student, so he knows who to kill next. To Duh. Our objectives. What 
is your objective, if you don't mind me asking? Mine? Or do you mean the course's objective? On the course. The objective of the course is to free people from bondage. We teach that most people... What if they're into bondage? Past ...by guilt, their attitudes, their beliefs. All that kind of nonsense. Guilt cripples people. Feeling guilty in business is like a meat eater feeling guilty in an abattoir. Guilt comes from the archaic emotional centers of the brain. It's a vestige of our animal ancestry, that's all. In business, you heed it at your peril. <laughs> I'm sorry, Inspector, my house appears to be haunted. Would you mind closing the door? Um. So, you believe that guilt has no place in business? None at all. I have few beliefs, Inspector, but that's one of them. And what if you have done something wrong? <laughs> well, that's the whole point. Guilt has nothing to do with it. Hmm. Interesting opinion. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Um. I just wanted to know about the freedom this is by phrase. Chance. Oh, nope. No idea. Gardening isn't my kind of thing. Rebecca would probably know. I presume you've met Rebecca. Yes, I. I'm sure she'd enjoy telling you what it is. She's the kind of woman who likes to feel superior. Would probably marry a millionaire and then decide to run her own pub. Yes, why was that? <laughs> Snappy well, snap. She isn't exactly housewife material. She likes to be in control, like Maya. Shame, isn't it? That I'm in control of both of them. <laughs> oh my God, you, you sir. Have you ever heard of Salvia you, Divinorum or Magic Mint? Sounds like it might be a drug. It's a hallucinogenic plant. Legal, as a matter of fact. I'm not a drug taker, Inspector. I have no enthusiasm for voluntarily poisoning your brain. I believe you. And you've never seen anyone on the course taking it? Well, if someone had, they wouldn't have done it openly. We don't allow drugs or alcohol on our course. We like to tell students that success is the best drug. Whether you buy into that, of course, is another matter. Fair enough. All right, well, here's the big question we've what been waiting you know for. about this? So you've been graced with Goebbels' company already, have you? James, our local minister for propaganda. I suppose yeah. Ryan already told you all about our actual previous incarnation. He explained, yes. Did he tell you anything scandalous? Not unless you count the suicide. <laughs> These things happen. Damn! Your idea? The suicide. Fuck, that was a cold Third ass eye. statement to make. Yes, it was. As my son had started to atrophy, I decided I ought to give him something to do. And Third Eye was the same as Atlas teaching business skills. Very similar. So Liam's death uh -huh. didn't prompt you to make any changes? There was nothing we could do about Liam's death, Inspector. Any more than we could do anything about Kate's. It was out of our control. You can't blame me for wondering, Paul. Two student deaths in two years. It's called a coincidence, Inspector. I expect they had fast food also. But you're not investigating all the local chippies, are you? They're not insinuating to be part of a satanic cult, personally. Uh, uh a business dawn. So then I'll, I'll get it by the end of this playthrough, I'll tell you. I, okay, so let's be real fucking careful. Go down the line. Um, I, I swear to God, I, I'm looking for something. I caught him. I busted him. Uh, it's, there it is. Bam. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So if you don't allow drink or drugs onto the site, why did you allow Liam to drink whiskey all night? Well, we did give him various warnings. 
did try to stop him, but uh, didn't work. Oh, but you let him stay please. on the course? Yeah, well, we couldn't throw him out. This isn't a primary school, Inspector. We're not the police. We can't enforce these rules. If they pay their yeah. fees, they're entitled to stay on the course. And what if they want to take drugs? As long as they do it with discretion, frankly, I don't care if they want to wipe or inject paint stripper all over their faces. Do you store any alcohol at all? Uh, no. Is there a kitchen? Why, do you want to go down there and check? Yeah. Well, obviously you wouldn't mind if what you're saying is true. Of course yeah. you wouldn't mind. It's past the lavatories down the corridor, but you won't find any drugs okay, in there or so, so we have a new place we get a look. Whether um, I find alcohol at Atlas or not, it probably isn't particularly relevant. But it's worth a look anyway. Yeah, that's totally going to be our next spot. But I, I still got more. I still got more things to ask about. Okay, yeah, that was... Yeah, we got nothing. I got, uh, I got access to the kitchen, so that's better. So, on to the kitchen we go, and I might be seeing a lot of Paul tonight. Yeah, we're gonna be coming back a few times, I'm sure. Okay, off to the kitchen.